Hello Active Traders, this is Ken Calhoun from TradeMastery.com with the channel dedicated to helping you make bigger winning trades more often. Now with the recent volatility in the S&P, it's really important that you capitalize on it the right way. We're going to take a look at some strategies for capitalizing on market volatility coming right up. I've got two main points for you. The first is to understand clearly the difference between directional volatility, meaning charts that continue on up over time, week after week, and non-directional volatility, like the stock market the last few weeks. The S&P, after running up, did a quick sell-off, big sell-off, then it bounced, then it sold off again, then it bounced a little bit. It's up and down. They don't know what they want to do. So what do you want to do as a trader is make sure that you're trading directionally volatile charts that continue on up with good relative strength despite the stock market's non-directional volatility. So is the stock market volatile? Yes, but the problem is it's unlike the last year or two where it's been volatile continuously up, it's been up and down and sideways. So what you have to do is find charts that have good directional strength that go up week after week and have better relative strength than the underlying stock market. That makes perfect sense, right? So. Look for charts that have week after week uptrends despite the recent up and down move in the stock market. That's tip number one. Tip number two is in this kind of a market in which the S&P, take a look at these say the 90 day daily candlestick chart of your S&P chart. Uh, it only runs for up to a week or so in a row before it pivots and goes back down and then bounces and goes up for five days or so and then runs back down for three to five days and then tries to bounce. Uh, the tip is make sure that you time your swing trades to within three to five day round trip trades. And the reason is because that's how far the stock market goes in a single direction before it pivots back down. So, or at least tighten in your trailing stops. This is not an environment within which to be position sizing or scaling much because you're not going to see many charts that run up for three weeks in a row like we used to have. Right now, our stock market uh, is up and down, so for that reason, you have to be a little tighter or faster to exit your trades, for either day or swing trades. Day trades, five to eight minutes, maybe 10 minute round trips. Swing trades, three to five day round trips. And that's actionable intel. That's a good professional approach that can help you. So, all right, good morning and happy Saturday. Welcome to all of you to our weekly Trading Week Ahead broadcast. I'm Ken Calhoun, your host. Coming at you straight out of Colorado here on Saturday, March 3rd, 2017. The first quick professional tip is in a up and down sideways consolidating market like our S&P has been this past several weeks, the duration of trend line run, how far the market runs before it stops. Like a herd of cattle going Murr, one way and then heads the other way and then heads the other way. What's a trader to do? Well, we can stay on the sidelines or professional approach is Tighten in the round trip duration of your swing trades to no longer than three to five days. That's what I'm doing. Uh, you're trading a breakout, it's likely to only run up to four or five days before it reverses course and the market goes the opposite direction. So that's a quick strategic tip on how to make the most of volatile markets is, you know, professional traders are looking at price projection and length of trends. This is true for intraday trades too. How far does it, did it run in the previous day? You know, five to eight minutes. How far did the swing trade run? Three to five days before reversing course, right? So you get these three to five day cycles. I think for the Elliotitians out there, you got wave one, two, three, four, trying to do a wave five correction. Anyway, the point is you got several days in a row ABC wave before things stall and pivot and turn the other direction. So from a practical trader standpoint, uh, you want to time your entries and exits round trips of no more than three to five days and make sure that you're trading exceptionally strong charts that are doing that are beating the market. First up to bat is VEEV -E -E and this is what I mean by that tip of trading after wide range candle days. If we drop down to the daily candlestick chart, here's the first large candle day. It finally broke the shooting star resistance here near 6180 and skyrocketed on up. Here's another large green candle day. Yesterday was another large green candle day. So it indicates buyers in force on large volume in VEEV. So those are the kind of preferred charts we want to focus on in our current markets. For those who trade lesser pricey instrument, AGEN, this was a pick that my smallcapscans.com 
members got last week and we are revisiting it this week as well because it continues to skyrocket on up to new highs. If you're not yet a member of small cap scans, if you do trade stocks under $10, that's my newest subscription service, by the way, and really popular, really taking off. And last but not least, for equity picks, we've got AGE, or I'm sorry, Keys. That was AGE, and this is KEYS. What we like about this chart, again, this also has that same exact pattern, right? A large green candle, an institutionally large bought up volume candle that went all the way from 47 to 50. Now we always anticipate reversals right under decade values. So that's why we sell nine. So if you've been swing trading this and you listen to my training the last 15, 20 years, you know they like to sell into resistance with the nine. We never buy anything with the nine. But because it's a large green candle, it may well continue on up next week. So keep an eye on KEYS. Anyways, until next time, this is Ken Calhoun from TradeMastery.com, hoping that you trade smart, trade wide, meaning many different instruments, and not too deep, not too many shares or contracts or lots on the front end. Uh, and let's go get them. Do well in your trades and best wishes for success. Goodbye for now.